Jordan Jarvis on the mound for Cincinnati. Little tapper by John Burkett. And look at Jarvis from his knees throws out the opposing pitcher then Burkett delivering to Deion Sanders a drive to right field and you know Deion can fly this one is going to the wall Deion has a triple Jarvis scoring on the play two nothing Reds Ron Gant following up with a single up the middle Lenny Harris comes home the Reds win at three nothing Jarvis tossing the first complete game the action bottom of the third Larry Walker deep off Mark Leiter Rockies down three two Next Walker at bat. Leiter going to come inside. The second time Walker has been hit in this series. Then tied at four in the eighth. Joe Girardi. That's a single, and Dante scores. Rockies up 5-4. We move now to the eighth inning. Jason Bates awaiting. Oh yeah. Two-run shot to left. Rockies win. And Joe Girardi goes four for four with two ribbies in three games played on Wednesdays this season. Girardi is 12 for 16 with nine RBIs and three four hit games. Top 10 still tied at two. Alan Trammell sends this one to the gap in right center field. It will drop in. Ron Tingley scores. So does Chad Curtis as the Tigers post the 4-2 victory. The Tigers winning the resume contest and also ending their three-game losing streak, doing it all in just 22 minutes. Said Trammell, the last thing either side wanted was to play six or seven innings and then play another one afterward. Their first sweep of the season, smoke for Bob Hamlin. Then Nagy getting Michael Tucker. He went around, that is strike three. Vince Coleman does make some contact, just barely. Gets gunned down at first. Nagy, a perfect game through five, but that would end in the sixth. Indians up one nothing. Pat Borders sends it high and deep to left center. Albert Bell, Kenny Lofton converging. It's off the wall. Goodbye no hitter. Royals score two in the inning. Take the lead. Bottom nine. Jeff Montgomery can't protect the one run lead. Wayne Kirby pinch hitting singles to score Ruben Amaro. We're going to extra innings tied at two. Bottom ten. Carlos Baerga at second. Manny Ramirez a single. Tom Goodwin's throw. Not in time. He is safe. Baerga scoring as the Indians win it. Three to two. So Cleveland sweeps the Royals and the they go up on the first. No score. Blooper off of Sid Fernandez to right. Sherman Obando, Rafael Palmero, Brett Barbary converge and the ball drops in. John Valentin scores one nothing Boston. Bottom three still one nothing Sox. Mo Vaughn at the plate. Sends it high and deep and Sid Fernandez who is from Kaiser High School in Honolulu knows the meaning of Aloha. Two run shot three nothing Boston. Here it comes. There it goes. Lee Tinsley taking El Cid downtown over the Green Monster as the Red Sox go on to win six to two. The Sox in fact have won now five in a row. Tinsley who took over in center field when Otis Nixon was traded has hit safely in every game this season and that would be 13 in a row. The Yankees and the Blue Jays. Yanks losers of three straight. Melito Perez on the hill in Toronto. And Ed Sprague goes downtown in the seventh. That would tie it up at two apiece. You know, there were five home runs in this game, and we are so committed. We're going to show every one of them to you. Two batters later, Devo, Devon White. He sends it out, and it's 3-2 Jays. Top of the eighth now. Pat Kelly facing Juan Guzman. Kelly hits a rope down the left field line hits the foul pole into the stands it's gone his first of the year we're tied at three Tony Castillo in for Guzman to aboard for New York Jim Lairitz not a home run mind you but a broken bat single to center Tony Fernandez scores four three Yankees bottom nine Ed Sprague up against John Wetland and there it goes again his second of the game we're tied at four but in the 11th Woody Williams giving up the two run line drive homer to right to Bernie Williams no relation Five homers in the game. We show them to you. Yanks with a 6-4 victory. 3-1 twins. The bases are loaded. Switch hitter Ray Durham. Nice shot to left. Two out. Two run single. And we are tied at three. Durham three hits. Drove in four. Top eight now. The Sox leading 6-5. Gerald Clark up as a pinch hitter. Taking Scott Radinsky, Radinsky downtown. Solo shot. We're tied at six. However, here it comes. There it goes. Chris Sabo also pinch hitting. Bottom eight. Two run shot off of Mark. Not to be confused with Arlo Guthrie. That is the game winner. Eight seven Sox. The Sox making it a sweep of the for Chipper Jones. Here it comes. And there it goes. Jones taking Pete Harnish out to give the Braves a two to nothing lead. 
And then 2-1 Braves, two on for Brett Butler, slicing it to the opposite field. It is a great catch by Jones, who is really feeling chipper now. Two all in the eighth. Jose Vizcaino, broken bat single, falls in. Two run score, and the New Yorkers take a 4-2 lead. Then the sprinklers come on. What is going on here? Where is the grounds crew? Oh, well, he's got his beverage. He's happy. The Mets fans go home happy. A 5-2 victory, snapping a three-game slide. Vizcaino was in a slump before coming through with a game winner. In fact, Kent Merker struck him out twice earlier in the game, said Vizcaino. I was lucky they brought in Stanton. Merker made me.